Hello, happy Monday. The reason that I'm exasperated as I start shooting this vlog, this is like take four. I have started to shoot my vlog this morning four times and had to stop because first I was eating my egg whites and that was really rude because it was obnoxious. And then second of all, um, I don't know what I did the second time. Maybe it was still my egg whites. But then I started talking on my last one and I realized that I still had stuff on the stove. <laughs> Told you guys I do that. So I'm making my turkey meatloaf and I have the onion sauteing on the stove and as I was blabbing away um, I realized like wow I've probably had that on the stove a little bit too long so full focus happy Monday it's April 1st April Fool's Day and I'm actually shooting this video uploading this video and it's gonna go live today so we're making a lot of progress in this strange world that I live in um, because as you know I was really letting my schedule kind of overwhelm things and I wasn't making time for myself. I wasn't making time to do the things that I wanted to do because I was giving all of my focus to to work and when you do that, you think, you start to think in your head that you don't have time for anything else. You think you don't have time for your workouts. You think you don't have time to spend um, on a social life. You think you don't have time um, for all the things that you should be doing so that you have some balance in your life. Balance is not something that you can't ever achieve. People say that a lot. They're like, work-life balance is impossible. That's baloney, please. Um, but it is a chore for a lot of us to change change our attitude and then change our lives, which is you, you've got to start making changes in your day-to-day -day life and what you do and what you make time for because you can make time for yourself. You can do the things that you want to do. You, you just, I guess probably one of the biggest things you have to do is accept that for most of us, I don't know many people that can, can work if you're, you know, if you have a job that you can work, you know, nine to five and then you leave the office at five and everything is done and that's it. Um, for most of us, there's always a lot to do. There is always more to do. And you kind of have to just understand that you have to prioritize, and there's things that aren't gonna get done when you want them to. I'm one of those people that I wanna get everything done in one day. I have <laughs> stuff that I need to follow up on from my trip to Vegas that was the week before last. I haven't even touched it yet, okay? But you have to prioritize and you have to look at things and go, I'll get to it, I'll handle it, I'll deal with it. And find a way, I won't get into these details today, but you've got to find a way that you prioritize what's important for that day. And, and maybe if you just start focusing on that day and then do the best the next day and then you do the best the next day, then it's not, you, you get into a process where it's okay to make time for yourself and you realize, you guys have heard me talk about this, for the better part of, you know, probably the first year and a half of, of running Fifth Fluential, you know, I'd get up every morning and I was like a bat out of hell right when I got out of, out of bed, you know, and I, I'd get up and I'd go right into my office and I'd have, you know, every intention, every desire to work out, but I would get into that office and that was what I gave my, the first part of my day to. And the thing is, when I go in that office and I start checking emails or whatever, that's been a problem of mine. I feel that I have to respond to everything right away. And so it was like a vortex. I would go in there in the morning and all of a sudden I look up at be four o'clock. I hadn't eaten. Maybe I'd had my coffee and that was it. Hadn't worked out and I was exhausted. And then I still had things to do. I had to hop on a Twitter chat. I had an evening conference call. I had to meet, you know, talk to somebody that's in California. And my days would just get away from me that way. I wasn't, you know, even changing out of my, you know, I, I'd get up and I'd put on my sweats or whatever in my robe, remember my black robe that I threw away? All of these things that were just like, you know, comfort. And I wouldn't get anything accomplished because it was just reacting to what was, what was in front of me. Every time the Outlook would ring and it would say, you have a new email, I'm looking at it and I'm responding to it. Everything, I've, I've made so many changes, I just don't do all of that stuff anymore and you guys are asking me about this and the changes that I've made in the books that I've read and I'll share them with you bit by bit so that you can actually have like a manageable video to watch but you really have to understand that you can you can change your the structure of your days so that you're actually enjoying life a little bit more so that you can feel like you're running your life your life isn't running you it sounds a very self-helpy book but whatever self-helpy bookie um, 
But yeah, you can do that. And, and all I'm saying is, I finally got to the point. Here I am shooting my video, okay? I, have, I got up at seven this morning. So I'm back to, you know, going to bed at a, at, a, at a good time so that I can get up early. Realistically, I'd like to be able to be getting up at six, but I will transition to that. Um, if it's possible, if not, I go to bed at close to 11 and I get up at seven. That gives me enough time, hold on. It gives me enough time um, to get in the quality sleep that I need and start my day early. So I've already gotten up, I've done my workout, I've had my breakfast, and instead of doing what I would do a year ago today, a year ago today, there's no way I would have been like, I don't have time to shoot a video, I've gotta do this, I've gotta do this, I've gotta do this, oh, I still haven't done my laundry, I haven't done this, and, and I wouldn't make time for anything. And I wouldn't make time to sit down and read my, I always read Joel Osteen in the morning, or, or that other book, that Meditations on the Mat book, which is a really good daily kind of devotional kind of a thing. I wouldn't make time to you know sit down and quiet my mind and meditate a little bit and say my prayers and start the day all Zen. You know, I wouldn't make time for that. I wouldn't um, I wouldn't have done my workout probably, but if I did, I'd run in really quick and take a shower really quick. And then I'd get out and be like, I don't have time I don't have time to you know put my skincare on, I don't have time to do this. No, you do have time. Why would you not take care of yourself? Why would you, you know, work so hard um, in the gym if you are working so hard in the gym and then not take care of, you know, the things that make you feel like you're, you're pampering yourself, you're worth it. So yeah, now I'm taking the time to like say, I can chill out and give myself an extra five minutes after my shower to put lotion on to make sure that I don't have dry skin to, you know, do my skincare routine again because that's what makes me look fabulous at age 44, which I turn tomorrow. Thank you very much. Um, make time. Figure out what you want to do every day. Make time for it. Um, understand that you're always going to have this overwhelming for, for most of us, you're, you're always going to have an overwhelming abundance of stuff that you want to do. You are not going to finish it every day. No one finishes their stuff every day. So figure out the top five things that you really want to do. Um, and then that gives you a sense of accomplishment when you've, you know, kind of attacked the, the top five things that you want to do as opposed to, you know, having no plan and just looking at all that you have to do and like, where do I start? Well, you should have taken all that you have to do and divided it into however you want. You know, what works for me might not work for you. You know, I have to take a little bit of this category and this category and this category and say, here's what I want to do today. But there's there's ways that you can take your life back and calm down. And that's one of the biggest changes that I've made is kind of calming down and realizing that work is going to be there. Work can wait. I can, I'm better when I'm fresher, I'm better when I'm not drained, I'm better and more effective at my job and at my work when I'm not like, <sighs> I've never left this office. It still is a tendency of mine, it still is. I mean, I was in there doing um, something last night until about 9.30, 10 o'clock, but that was a very quick turnaround. It was a deadline and it was due, and that's what I had to do. But I was also spending most of the day with my family celebrating my birthday. <laughs> There's another there's another heavy hint that tomorrow's my birthday and I have an Amazon.com wish list. Uh, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, you don't have to get me anything. Or, oh, why did you get me anything? You know, you didn't have to do that. I'm like, no, really, you should have. And you should have done a lot more. I'm, I'm really, I have no problem accepting gifts. Come on now. So anyway, that said, um, here's the thing. I'm gonna be writing my blog today and I'm gonna publish it. I didn't I wouldn't want to do it yesterday because it was Easter. But what I'm gonna do is review, because so many of you guys have been asking me this. You've been asking me what supplements I'm taking, what I've been eating, and what my workout routine has been for, you know, to get where I've gotten this first quarter of scratch on my hand. So when I put up my blog today, I will do a review of that. I will do a review of the whole first quarter. Um, what my workout was for the most part, um, what my, my diet's been, what my supplementation has been, and what I accomplished, and now, what I'm planning to do in Q2, because what I'm planning to do in Q2 is really, really take it up a notch. I kind of view Q1 as like my warm up, and it was great. 
but now I want more. I mean, and that's the good thing is that when you really start changing your life for the better, you keep wanting better and you keep wanting more. And that's a good obsession to have in my opinion. So um, I'm very, very excited. Um, my mindset's changed, I'm happy. Um, and it's just kind of a cool thing. Um, it's, it's funny because I was around my mom and my dad this weekend and they hadn't seen me in a while. And they're like, you're getting too skinny. I'm like, really? They just hadn't seen me in a while. But so I've, I've changed so much and in, in my mind, but also I've changed my body. And yeah, it feels damn good when people notice. And um, it was really funny. I was telling Michael about this because I ordered my room service um, when I was in Baltimore. And I swear to God, I'm not making this up. This lady was so cute. And I don't say this to be an arrogant jerk, like, oh, I'm so fabulous. I have a ways to go, people. Um, but it really made me feel good because I don't know about you guys. The best thing is that when you don't ask someone, does it look like I've lost weight? Do I look okay? Do I look fat? Whatever. Is when somebody says something and you, you know, maybe you're having a bad day that day especially and then somebody will go, wow. And then it just, it, it makes it all worth it. There's other things that make it worth it too, but I ordered my room service Friday morning before I was getting ready to come home. So I'm in Baltimore, right? And this woman, this tiny little lady comes in and she delivers my food. And I was um, just finishing my workout. So I was doing, I had my turbo fire and I was doing turbo fire and it was kind of sweaty. And um, she came in and I don't know what she said first, but she was like, oh my God. She's like, what, you work out? And she had this cute little accent. I can't even, but she was like, really? I mean, and she was, I'm not exaggerating. She was like, oh my God, like, what do you do? And, and then, I'm like, well, I just, you know, I work out and, and I have a fitness company and I'm, you know, I'm losing weight and I'm feeling really good and I really enjoy it. And she's like, the first thing she said, she goes, I could never do that. I could never do that. She's like, I watch what I eat, but I don't, you know, I don't have time. I couldn't work out. And I'm like, first of all, yes, you do. And, and I don't want to hear you say you can't. And that's like the number one thing that all of you guys had to get in your head. Don't, stop saying like, I can't, I could never. Oh, I, I can't do that. Remember, I said that before. I said, oh, I can't run. I'm not a runner. I don't know how, I always get cramps. I figured it out. I also said I couldn't do choreographed um, like DVDs. When I first borrowed my friend's turbo fire, I just plopped in one of the DVDs and tried to do it without looking at the instructional tape. I didn't even realize there was an instructional uh, tape. DVD in there. And so I tried it and I couldn't go along with the choreography. So I'm like, forget it, this is stupid. Well, guess what? Now I have it. I did the introductory, um, you know, it's like, it's a whole workout, but she goes through the, the moves that are in there. And I'm giving myself patience to say, sometimes I'm not gonna get the moves until like the third or fourth time I try it. This is now one of my favorite things to do. And let me tell you, it is so fun. I get my sweat on. I mean, I burned 500 calories this morning doing that and then adding you know, some icing on the cupcake. So you've got to, now I'm kind of losing my point, what I was saying. Um, oh, so I was telling the, the woman in the, in the thing and she's like, oh, I could never do that. And I'm like, yes, you can. You have to stop saying you can't. You have to stop looking at it like it's this big overwhelming mountain that you can't climb. And I said, you know, just start small. Why can't you just start, you know, walking every day? She's like, I don't have time or, or, you know, whatever. And I said, you don't need to start doing something like P90X or, or going to the gym and getting a trainer. Start with something. Something's better. And I took out my resistance bands and I'm like, she goes, what are those? So I started showing her, you know, some, uh, some of the things that you could do with resistance bands. And she was like, Oh my God. And I'm like, you can go to Walmart and get these. You can go to Target and get these. They're like 20, 30 bucks. Um, and I said, you can make up so many different moves to do for your, you know, I tend to use resistance band more for upper body than lower body. Um, but she was like, oh my God. And then I turned around because I was going to go show her the Turbo Fire DVD. I'm not like, you. She goes, oh my God, your butt. Oh, your what? Your butt. What do you do to get that butt? And I'm like, well, uh, thank you. I mean, she's this short little woman. But I was like, did somebody pay you to come up here and just make my day? Because she was making my day. And she's, I mean, she was not a, a heavy woman, but she was just like, and, I, and she goes, I'm going to go buy those resistance bands. I'm going to do this. And I'm like, yes, and you need to join Fit Financial, And then I can, you know, email me and I'll tell you about all of the, you can just go to YouTube and find free videos that you can do at home. She's like, 
oh, I'm going to do this. And I said, what are you going to do tonight? I want you to go for a 10 minute walk. Even if you just add a 10 minute walk to your day, if you haven't been doing that before, then you add a 15 minute walk. Then you start doing a power walk. Then maybe you add in some little runs. I mean, just start. Stop thinking it has to be this perfect, big, huge program that is that sounds so unachievable and, and unsurmountable that you won't do it. Just start with something. I think too many people do that. They think, and certainly I did it, it has to be all or nothing. You can start with something and then you build on it and then you keep building on it and you keep building on it. I thought about that too when I was doing Turbo Fire this morning, and now I'm gonna shut up. Because one of the things that she does so effectively, Kathy Friedrich does this, um, pretty much almost all of the workout DVDs that I have, the instructor does this. Alaria does this in, in the Body Strikes DVDs. They'll layer on, they'll start showing you one move and then you get that move down and then they're like, okay, we're gonna add on. And so then they do that move plus the next move. Then they do that move plus the next move plus another move. Then they do that move plus the next move plus another move plus another move. And pretty soon you're doing this like really fun routine and you're like, wow. How did I learn that choreography? Because you just keep adding, but you start small. And that's what you can do, you know, with a workout program. If, you, if you're just starting and, and, you know, say you work an 80 hour week and, and you think, I don't have time for all of that. People work out for an hour and a half, they don't have time. Stop making excuses, because that's pretty much what you're doing. You're trying to find a way out and you're trying to be lame and find excuses. You can find 10 minutes in your day to do something. And if you want to say, I dare anybody to write me and tell me why it is absolutely impossible for them to do something. You can do something, and if you don't do something, then you're a wuss. And don't start off quarter two being a wuss. You got me? I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.